Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 of the Sith Lords. This will be part 38 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we just turned off. Actually, I probably should go check. Did we actually go turn off the. Uh, did we actually go turn off the power? Do not remember. Just to be sure. Uh, secondary power system, bridge command console, unrestricted program, system control, uh, power distribution, access full, uh, shutdown. Prime mode power supply cannot be disabled. Okay, I think I did disable it, right? Prime mode power system. Uh, view secondary power supply. Inactive, yeah, okay, cool. So now we just have to get back to our ship. We've, uh, we fucked everything up for, uh, Goto. And now we just need to... Go home. Uh, which should be easy, because yeah, I think we've also killed some of the bounty hunters. Ooh. Nap time. Alright, whatever. We'll just stab these guys. I'm sure Mira and Mandalore can handle the other two. Okay, well Mira's helping us with these. You can actually pull out a weapon? Oh my god, you are. You might be a bit of a badass. Ah, uh, it's not doing too bad. I do enjoy the honourable combat every now and again. Ooh, I leveled up. Nice. So do we... Okay, we dealt with those two. Perfect. I'll just throw a quick heal out. Oh, there's the minefield access code. Well, that's unfortunate and annoying. Chonk. Chonk. And we'll throw out some guns. Nice. Alright, level up for me. What's this going to put it into? Wisdom? I agree, game. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, we'll put up some awareness. I'm going to treat injury. Yeah, we, we probably do need some treat injury. Um, right, we don't have anything else we really need, do we? Must be Force Barrier, but no, we should probably just do, like, all the basic ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just take all, like, the basic light side Force Powers. Oh, it's you two. Howdy. Well, we meet the Exile. We should tell your companion that he should strike to kill, not to wound. Fair enough. I'll keep that in mind. I guess I'll just lop off your head where you can't can't fight back then. Is that uh, is that better? Is that more what you were looking for? And we'll get these Juros bounty hunters as well. This is just delicious, delicious XP. Chonk. Actually, on that note, are you guys on... Okay, so you're on aggressive. I think we're on... Well, actually, Mandalore can be on aggressive, but Mira, I think, should go on ranged. Because I believe it means... Yeah, she switches to melee if an opponent closes. I don't think Mandalore has a melee weapon. No, he doesn't. Um, and I am actually okay with that. Uh, I think... Talk them to death? Ooh. Have a persuasion of 30. Cool. Oh, I must have been boosted. Right. Right. Uh, no, no, I, I don't need, don't need anything. Uh, I just need to head to the Evan Hawk. I've already gone the wrong way. I need to go this way. <laughs> oh, oh, now the Gans here. Alright, nap time. <laughs> not, not playing this game, you guys do actually do a lot of damage. Where's, where's Mira? Mira, are you actually shooting anything? Nice. Shot him with his own gun. Classic Jedi trick. Love it. I, I've always loved deflection. Okay, there we go. Are you seeing disintegrators? You cheeky little bastards. Uh, hello, everyone? Teammates? 
I guess I'm gonna have to lightning them to death. Would have been nice to have my partners there. Okay, whatever. Just everybody dies. Oh. I thought I might get the, the double deflection. Are you guys catching up? Okay, there's Mandalore. Ugh, whatever. Whatever. Let's let's get out of here. I, I don't need to stay here anymore. I'm good. Wow, it is a shit fight out there. Good lord. Alright, well, we handled it. I can't believe it. we just blew up Godot's yacht. That's gonna destabilize crime throughout this whole sector. Yeah, well, you'll understand if I hold back the tears. <laughs> That's right. I don't understand. Crime in the YouTube system, it's like the economy. Plus the power vacuum. Even if Voga gets up and running again, the system is gonna be feeling the effects for years to come. Yeah, well, at least we didn't find that Jedi Master with the weird name. Zez, Kai, whatever it is. Zez Kyle? Um, well, that's not true. I already yeah. found him. Actually, he found me first. He hired me to watch out for you. Keep Goto off There you go. So that's that's him. how when everything we back happened. To Whoop. That safe house off the docks. I said I'd meet up with him there if we ran into any trouble. Uh, can I help you? What do you want now? If you thought to escape my notice so easily, you would be wrong. As a token of my goodwill. I present to you a gift, this droid. It will serve you well on your journey. Um... Wasn't your ship just destroyed? A common misconception not supported by facts. Uh, okay. Why would I want this droid? As I indicated, this unit will remain with you and guard you. It will also serve as an effective voice for my orders during your journey. Um... How do I know it won't try to kill me? I cannot harm you. You are the key to saving the Republic. Pray Wasn't going to stop you before. Goto has joined the party. Yeah, special powers of droids and cannot set off mines. Um, I don't want your help. not a request. Any attempt to interfere with my duties would be unfortunate. As much as I need you, you will find you will need me as well. And this droid will prove useful on your journey. I feel like I don't, though. Whatever, says Kyle's waiting for us, enough talk. Like, I feel like you just space it out an airlock or you chop it in half with a lightsaber. Kavar thought you might, if only to wander your old battlegrounds. But I did not think you would come to Nar Shaddaa. Still, well, you were always a difficult one to read, both when you were tied to the Force and even more when it was lost to you. Um, why did Kaval think I would return from exile? I do not know. It was a sense he had, and he had served in war as you had. Perhaps he thought he understood you, or maybe he simply hoped he did. He felt you were the key to understanding the threat we face. The others were not so certain, but so many of them are gone now, as you no doubt know. Uh, why me? Uh, he sensed some connection between you and many of the worlds touched by war. He thought by traveling to such places, he could achieve understanding. Right. Um, then you know I've come... Oh, no. Uh, I have questions I want to answer. No doubt. I don't want to end him. Will provide us both with some measure of peace. I have kept secrets for far too long. Um, I need to know why you cast me out of the order. We told you it was because you followed Revan to war, but you ask... Because you are not certain of that answer. Correct. Nor were we. The day we cast you out, that is the moment I decided to leave the Order. Because I do not believe we truly faced the reasons you were exiled. And if we do not examine such truths, then we are already lost. Okay, so it says Kyle seems pretty because chill. Because we were afraid. It is a difficult thing to live one's life with the Force. To see a vision of what it would be like to be severed from it, it is more frightening than you know. Um, had other Which questions. I can tell you, I will. Um, at the end of my trial, you and the other masters said something had happened to me. What was it? Ah, so the records of your trial were found, 
Good. Sometimes I think this galaxy would be a better place if there were less Jedi secrets. But I have no answer for you, as much as I would like to give one. We vowed never to speak of it. And although I would not keep promises to Jedi, I keep promises I make to others. And Kavar was a friend. If we were gathered as one, then the promise might be revoked. Until then, I can say nothing. Okay. Out of the questions. Well. Um, do you know anything of Force Bonds and how to end them? Yes, such bonds are a connection that can be formed at moments of crisis or in the slow understanding that grows between master and apprentice. Right, but how do you it get rid of them? It's most common between two beings who are sensitive to the Force. It allows the transmission of feelings of influence. It was something you Pretty standard shit I could have already guessed. Before your fall, you form such attachments easier than most. Even to those who could feel the force only faintly. Which is Your why my companions are it, which is activating something. their force powers or whatever. Is there any way to remove such a bond? I do not know. A bond between two living beings is not something easily broken. It is not a choice. It is like breaking a feeling. Like turning away from the force. To break a bond, your feelings would have to change. Or one of you would have to die. But even then, the bond wouldn't go away. It would simply... It would simply be empty. A wound. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, no other questions. Uh, yeah, how to end them, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've developed a bond with another, one that is lethal to us both. That is most unusual and unnatural. I have never heard of a bond of such strength. How would I end it? There were a few within the Order who knew more than I did of such bonds, but their students were few. Lost in the Mandalorian Wars. It was rumored that Revan studied such bonding deeply, both through the Jedi histories and with certain teachers, before he left the Order and went to war. Okay. Um, alright. That is all I wish to know. What happens now? Now. Now I must take up the role I was ready to cast aside. This threat has finally revealed itself, and we Jedi will need to stand together. I did not speak fully of what I have felt. Staying on Nar Shaddaa, it is an exile of sorts, one that I have chosen. Right. I, too, lost a Padawan on Malachor, not to the battle, but to the alternative, to the teachings that Revan brought from the unknown regions. And I was not the only Jedi Master to watch a student turn on them. Okay. Um... Yeah, your students, your disciples were taught to protect innocence even when you would not. No, no. They were not to blame. But many of the Order did so. It was a difficult time. A time of strong emotion. Perhaps the Council, perhaps the Order itself, had grown arrogant in their teachings. It is easy to cast blame, but it is perhaps time the Order accepted responsibility for their teachings and their arrogance and come to recognize that perhaps we are flawed. Fair enough. Not once did I hear Again, one of the like seems very chill. For Revan, for very Exar sensible. Kun, for Ulik, for Malak, or for you. Yet, you were the only one who came back from the wars to face our judgment. And rather than attempting to understand why you did what you did, we punished you instead. Our one chance to see where we had gone wrong, and we cast it aside. And now... That decision has come back to us and may carry with it our destruction. Perhaps there is something Fair wrong enough. in us, in our teachings. And though I tried, I could not cause that thought to leave me. So I left the council. And I was not the only one. That is why many scattered. And why many in the Republic do not trust us. And why we do not trust ourselves. Make God, no this mistake. is getting very I deep. No Jedi. This is the end, you see. After this... There will be nothing, and I think it will be for the best. Do you wish to do battle now? I have nothing more to say. Um. But Revan redeemed himself. Certainly that must give you some hope. It provides no comfort at all, for reasons in which I still must keep secret. Suffice to say, redemption was not Revan's choice. And I have never believed those yeah, actually, of the council who attempt true. to console themselves otherwise for the crime they committed. Is there anything you can teach me? But we have spoken enough, I think. And words, I think, dull us both. Let us speak through the Force, through sparring. It has been okay. some time since you have used the Force. 
It is true, but there are techniques to enhance one's tie to the Force, to make your influence through the Force more potent. Cool. Yet, even as such techniques can enhance the Force, they should be used cautiously. They can drain you quickly, leaving you at the mercy of your So I'm opponents. guessing this is going to let me do powerful Force powers at, like, double the cost or some shit? Seems sensible. Perhaps exile has been good to you indeed. It has certainly not dulled your instincts, nor the speed at which you learn. I shall go to Dantooine, to the ruins of the Enclave. If you gather the others, I will meet you there. Okay. And thank you, exile. You're returning. It is good that you are back among us. I like how Zezkael is the most chill, and he's the one that's just like, Bah, just kill me. Just, just kill me. I want to die. Please kill me. Why are you not killing me? So weird. So it must be force potency? Yeah, so extra force damage, extra force point cost. Oops. That makes sense. Oh. Observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Oh god. You idiots again. Alright, you guys can just, like, I'm just gonna do this a few times. You guys have fun with that. Because, yes, annoying recitation is correct. Like, it's getting real old. Crushing you on every planet is getting, getting real irritating. Uh, kind of like fast travel. Ah, the gang's all here. Nice. We got all the people. And we now have Goto, or the Goto droid. Which, once again, I don't think I want, but apparently we have to keep him because story reasons, even though there is no logical reason why we wouldn't just go, oh yeah, uh, yeah, bang, and just shoot it. <laughs> oh my god, you're kidding me. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you guys gonna stop me all the way to the ship? Just admit defeat. You've lost, alright? I won. Didn't you have all, like, killed Goto on his ship or whatever? Or at least blew up Goto's ship? I, I guess you're not... We didn't really kill Goto because it wasn't there, but... Like, are we done? Is there going to be another one? Another group of them before I get home? Are they just outside the ship waiting for me? Okay, no, thank, thank God. No more HK-50s, we're good. We're good, We've, we solved it. God, at least not till the next planet where we're going to fight another 12 of the bloody things. Alright, I'm sure we're going to have a million cutscenes when we get on this ship too. Because we've got some affinity, we got two new characters, ah, like, HK there we go. I did not realize that you still existed, especially now that the other generations are activated. Query, what is it you wish, that one? <laughs> I see that your recent reassembly has not affected your behavior core, nor your... No, oh, no, I just like him more now. Statement, if I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Iridonian. I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Query, have we had the misfortune to meet before? I believe I would have remembered one as large as you. <laughs> That's oh, Such yes, smack. We have met, and I have not finished with you yet. Interesting. Okay, more. It's just like a bigger one. Okay. There was a pattern to Revan's attacks during the Jedi Civil War. He sought to convert Jedi, not kill them. But that is not all. In fact, he fought to keep the infrastructure intact, killed certain political leaders that would lead to destabilization. First Patriarch Lelin Dor of Sirocco. The Corellian diplomat Mimis Yoon and Yusunus of Achani. Um. You think he wanted to have something left to conquer? I am not sure that he intended to conquer. I think he was trying to do something else. 
I think he was trying to unify the galaxy against some other threat. Against what? But, but it's more than that. You haven't been chewing on spice, have you? Yeah, when one is in touch with a force, others can feel it. Oh, well, it shows. It's like you're hooked up to a power coupling. It's weird. I mean, not bad weird, just weird. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you and Adam... But it's just the force. Are you are you hitting on me? Me and Adam what? You know, hooked up a power coupling. You know? <laughs> oh, God. Um... I would sooner stab myself with a lightsaber after I stabbed him. Got it. Just checking. <laughs> uh, some questions I wanted to ask. Go ahead and ask. You seem restless. Traveling, being trapped in the ship. Everything's, ugh, everything's just too quiet. Too quiet. I'd rather be doing something, somewhere with people, activity, some life. Look, the droids driving past. Um. Were you raised on Nashadar? Look, before we get into a game of Guess the Pazak card, pull back on the throttle. I don't know you that well to start sharing our life stories. Okay, fair enough. Um, so we could talk. About what? Uh, do you understand men? Sure, very easy. That's why I dress like this. When they're looking down to check you out, you can usually smash them on the base of the skull or deliver an uppercut that knocks them flat. <laughs> uh, you make it sound easy. It's simple. When you want a man, you jab him with a boffin stunner, then while he's screaming in pain, slap some stun cuffs on him. Then starve him for two or three days until he becomes open to suggestion, then double check his bounty and see if he's worth anything. Fair enough. That sounds more like hunting. Call it what you want. Me? I love my targets. <laughs> Questions I wanted sure. to ask. Um, tell me a little about Hanhar. Hanhar is only a bounty hunter because that's the closest word for what he does. He's not out for credits. He's more vicious than that. And it runs a lot deeper. It's like he's out to make the whole galaxy suffer. Every living thing in it. He wants to break them, ruin them. And when they can't suffer anymore, he wants them dead. Sounds really evil. Uh, what happened between you and Hanha? I didn't kill him once. Biggest mistake ever. <laughs> True. Uh, what do you mean? That's a long story. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Never mind. Gonna have to get some points with you. I don't really want to talk to Godo. I, I just don't care. I, I don't want him. <laughs> um. Okay, so where have we got left to go? Been to Dantooine. We've started Korriban. We're kind of done on Nashadar. I guess we will... Let's go to Korriban. We'll do... We'll do Onderon and Duxon last, I think. No, we'll just skip this stuff. We, we don't need to watch the whole fast, you know, fast travel stuff. Oh, my lightsabers have gone silent. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, let's bring a different team this time. Let's go, let's go Mira, because she's new. And maybe we'll bring, uh, Vizus. We're going to bring Disciple. Why not? They're, they're both blaster people. I am listening. Uh, do you want to be ranged as well? I think you got a melee weapon. Oh, no you don't. We can give you one. Uh, take a... Rhodian Deathblade. Or a, a, a Rick Blade. Yeah, nice. That, that'll, that'll be good. That'll be good. Uh, level you up. Boom. Skills. Done. Uh, skills. Yep. Feats. Uh, what do you think? power attack sounds good to me um, like I, I really couldn't care less for the disciple there done just fixed wow, I'm not even that light-sided anymore Let's move out. huh what have I done that's that evil is this still from when I was here and I failed the failed the temple the tomb I guess it must be. But, good lord. 
Good lord. We've been doing better than that. Oh, doesn't matter anyway. Oh, a two carter. Master speed. Chomp. More two carter. Chomp. God, just the master speed with like a million attacks. Does make you really deadly. If you have master speed and you take like Jedi. What? Guardian? Pretty sure it's Guardian. You get like a special flurry where you do extra attacks by default. So you can like have two weapons or a. You can have two weapons or a double ended lightsaber. You have that bonus. Ooh. Oh god, is he here? Anyway, you do that and you ha take master speed. And you can get like seven or eight attacks or something. Or six attacks, I think it is. It's crazy anyway. She is here. Find her. Because, yeah, I think. I think it's if you. If you take the Jedi Guardian and you get the maxed out. Or if you get like the prestige class for maybe it's only for dark side. I can't remember. It definitely is for dark side, not sure about light side. Um But I think you get like a Oh god, did I not give Mira a melee weapon either? Oops, no I didn't. My bad. Uh what what does damage here? One to six. 1 to 10, plus 2 unstoppable. Oh, Tekla Blade. That sounds good. Uh, yeah, change your weapon, please. There you go. Get your guns out. Get your, get your guns out. Um, but yeah, I think it just gives you, like, an extra attack. Just like by default, you get an extra attack. So if you wield one weapon, you always hit twice, and if you wield two weapons, you always hit three times. And then you do that with a flurry, which Master Flurry gives you two extra attacks. So there's five, and then I believe it's the Master Speed gives you two more? So yeah, effectively meaning you have... You have, what's that? Seven? Seven attacks? Kind of crazy. Chonk. Uh, I don't imagine there's anything in here I really care about. Oh, hello, fellas. Oh, wait, these guys I can't really do anything to, can I? Because uh, they have the, um, the face masks on, which means that they can't be affected by that stuff. Okay, probably should heal. I think I'm going to go down before I get to. No, I did. Alright, I'm just going to heal up. I'll let my blaster people be blasting. Mira, are you gonna attack the guys behind you or what? Okay, there we go. I'll try again. Nah, see, I think they're immune. Okay, now Disciple's doing it. Why Why do you guys just not attack when you're on ranged? I think it's a bug. Maybe I'll take him off range. Definitely used to work. Okay. Alright, let's just switch your weapons back. Honestly, just go on aggressive then. Uh, aggressive. God damn it. Where is it? Ah, uh, aggressive. Okay, cool. And then... Something disciple, you, you do the same. That'll be fine. Uh, stab. Chop, whatever. Uh, let's, let's pick the lock on this one. I got a good feeling about this. Nice. Oh, plasma rocket. Oh, and a verfine prototype shield. I am glad I picked the lock on that one. I would have hated to break the verfine prototype shield. God, look at all the dead Sith troopers. Doesn't seem... doesn't seem healthy. Knock knock. Oh, okay. But I guess not. No, no knock knock. 
<laughs> Data pad to Carter. Uh, stealth generators. Uh, ah, whatever. Blah blah blah. Two Carters. Blah blah blah. Two Carters are not that threatening. What do we got here? Ah, I'll just chop this one. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, Jalshay Mentor Armor. Tell me more. Plus one wisdom. Plus four wisdom, though. Plus four wisdom feels pretty strong. Mira, are you right there? Okay, I think, I think she's good now. Student identification. Okay, I don't have one. God, I remember that from Knights of the Old Republic 1. That was a that was a whole thing. Hello. I'll just run away. If Disciple and Mira want to shoot it, that's that's on them. They can shoot it. Ah, gentlemen. So do they get saved by Force Storm? Yeah, they do. Maybe they just have massive resistance. You have left me an opening. I guess that's probably why playing as a consular just in general is harder. I mean, I guess it kind of is, right? Because like a Jedi Consular, you use your force powers and maybe the enemy resists it, in which case you're kind of useless. Whereas if you play a Guardian and your whole thing is being good at stabbing, it's kind of hard for stuff to resist being stabbed. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw out a lot of lightning here and just see how much I can kill. The answer is all of it. But, uh, yeah, like, I guess if you get really, 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 really good at stabbing, there's not a lot of stuff that can resist it, whereas force powers, there's always some stuff that'll just be like, oh, they're wearing this. Um, oh, new recruit. Cool. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, the, anything that is, can have, like, armor or force powers or whatever that just makes them immune to certain status effects, like stun. So obviously things like lightning will always do damage, but, you know, I might get, there might be someone that's wearing one of the force masks that's just like immune to poison and, um, poison and stun and sleep and all the bad things. In which case, if you're a Jedi Consular, you're a bit shit out of luck, because that's most of your most of your battle plan is just stun everything and then f kill it when it can't fight back. Uh Twitter Hunter. Uh AJ thinks I'm wasting my time, but I won't make it past this damn door, even if I have to blow it to bits with the Thorium charges. We're sent here for the Holocons and I refuse to be the only one to return empty handed. Um, I'll deal with you in a minute. A lightsaber was you Okay, cool. I'll leave it alone. Stop. Well, now we can see them all, at least. No oh, god, I really didn't want to be the center of attention. Yeah, let Mira go. She's got better defense than me, anyway. God, do you like the crossfire? Alright. Heals for everyone. Uh, right, so we'll go turn on the computer, put in new recruit, see how we go, maybe? Enter new recruit. New recruit recognized, creating new user account. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, shit, enter new recruit. Login incorrect. That one. That one. That one. Oh my god. <laughs> they, they move around. <laughs> Okay, it's not 8, 8. 8, B, 5? No. 6, B, A, 5? Oh my god, they, they were all wrong? Hang on. Okay, X, triple O, one's always the same. Oh my god. Is it B, 8, 5? Okay, it's either B, 8, 5, 3. Okay, so it's B, 8, 5, 3. Um... Access learning material. Level 1 access granted. Nice. So that must be the library, I take it. 
Uh, access training room. Level 1 students must complete level 1 written test. Okay, written test. Five questions, begin test. Which following Sith Lords does not possess a tomb on Korriban? Um, a jumper pole? Number of Sith Lords conducted the burial ritual of the Great Marker Ragnos. Ritual required all Sith Lords in attendance to be evenly spaced in a perfect circle. Ludo Crash led the ritual from the coveted 6th position directly opposite Simus in the 16th position. How many Sith Lords conducted the trial? So it was what? 20, right? Because it's like 10 away, and then it's that twice. Right? Because if you had... Oh, whatever. Uh, which of following creatures would be least suitable as a pet for a Sith Master? Uh, a Gizka. <laughs> the following statement is not a paradox. Student teaches an instructor who teaches a student. I always lie, that's a paradox. This statement is false, that's a paradox. Um, to be powerful, one must have an army. To have an army, one must be powerful. Is no the answer to the question? Because if you say yes, then it's not true. So that's a paradox. These three are paradoxes. To be powerful, one must have an army. To have an army, one must be powerful. I mean, both of those can be true. No, wait. Because how do you get an army without being powerful? Student teaches instructor who teaches student. That's not a paradox. Oh, shit. Um, passion, strength, power, victory, I believe. Three out of five questions correct. Shit. Right, let's take it again. Um, who doesn't have one there? Tulak Horde does. Frieden... Does Frieden nad? Nagasato definitely does. I thought it's a Junta Paul, but maybe I'm wrong. It's Marco Ragnos. Okay, hang on. Let me have a look at this. Um, so if he's on the sixth position, and opposites are 16, so you have six, seven... So the spaces in between are 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's... 9. Which means it's on the other side of 16 must be... Oh, sorry. So it must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on one side. And then 16... Sorry, it'd be 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, so it must be 20. Yeah. Giska, uh, that one, and... No, it's definitely this. Three out of five correct. Oh my god. I think I'm dumb. <laughs> I, I need to I need to study for this test in Knights of the Old Republic 2. But anyway, guys, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Check out the videos on there. If you think you know any friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.